Hey y'all, this is Cater Sparks. I'm the editor-in-chief of The Manual, and I'm here in Portland, Oregon at Brooks Brothers with William Smith, who is the store manager. And we're very excited to be here to talk to you about spring summer trends. William, tell me about this suit. So we picked out this suit because it, it, it's, uh, it's very breathable, which you'll tell us more about. But uh, we thought an indigo is a big trend story this spring summer. It was last summer, it keeps rolling on and we're really happy with it. Dudes love navy. Uh, and so this is a, this is a little more rich uh, and blue category. But uh, we picked this because it's great for the office, maybe even, you know, maybe casual Friday if you're in a really corporate place, you can throw in the pink tie. But tell us more about this. Sure, so this is our Brooks Cool Indigo suit and What's really exciting about this for me is it's 100% wool, all made in Italy, um, very lightweight, very breathable. It is actually water resistant and wrinkle resistant, so the suit travels really well. Um, if you have to sort of fold it up or throw it in your suitcase for a weekend, you can, you can get to your destination, hang it up for a couple of hours, and the wrinkles will literally fall out. Um, we did choose to, choose to pair it here with the floral tie to kind of show more of a business look but it's, it's super versatile. You can sort of break up the pieces, wear the trousers on their own with something different on top, uh, do the jacket just as a separate blazer if you wanted to. So really great investment piece, I think, for our customers. And also the floral tie is a big trend piece as well. Uh, and then we paired it with this teal striped shirt just to give a little pop of color. But um, I did want to show the, the, the lining of this. It's a beautiful, look at this, um, this kind of neon turquoise color. Um, and I'm a huge fan of this suit. I live in Charleston, South Carolina, where it's 100 degrees for a couple of months a year. And it's super humid. And so a suit like this, I can wear it uh, all day, all night and not break a sweat. This is one of the outfits we picked out, a little more casual than the suit, but um, not quite weekend wear, maybe casual Friday. Um, tell us a little bit more about this, uh, you know, it's, it's broken up in different... Uh... Sure, a lot, of, a lot of different elements going on. I think it is a, a terrific look for sort of a casual day at the office or maybe a weekend brunch if you want to just sort of step it up a little bit. Uh, what we have here is the seersucker shirt that we do in gingham, which is just sort of a fun little twist on seersucker, make it a give it a little bit different point of view. And then we paired it with the uh, Sapima cotton cardigan underneath, and then layered it with the lightweight blue blazer uh, that's half lined. So again, really lightweight, really cool for spring, summer. And then we also have it with the Irish linen trousers, which are fantastic. I have this blazer and I really love it. I, um, I, I wear it uh, when I'm traveling a lot and you can roll it up into a ball, put it in the overhead compartment in the airplane and bring it back out and it looks brand new as soon as you step off the plane. Um, and I'm really a big fan of these Irish linen pants. Um, uh, linen is a, is a big staple trend for, for spring, summer. So uh, we're excited about that. And then this is a great way to wear a seersucker. If you're not a big fan of the whole seersucker suit, the mint julep Kentucky Derby look, this is, uh, this is a seersucker fabric, but it, uh, you know, with a gingham uh, print on it. So uh, it's a great way to still have that, that texture, but not be so obvious. So moving on to our last piece, William. So this is something we thought about more for weekend wear, uh, if you're going out with the mother-in-law or first dates, um, or even if you just want to look great going out to bars with friends. Um, this is a more, very preppy, uh, but very on trend. You've got the nautical stripes, you've got the gingham and the seersucker, Bermuda short, and of course the driving loafer that we all love. So if you want to tell us a little bit more about this. Sure, you, you've kind of hit on all the key pieces, <laughs> I think, but um, again, we love the, the sort of gingham seersucker and we decided to do it with a little pop of orange here, um, something a little bit unexpected with the, with the navy and the, and the cream on the sweater. Um, I'm a big fan of this sort of nautical inspired sweater great layering piece you can you know throw it on take it off wrap it around your waist if you need to and, and you're kind of ready for anything and then just sort of the classic uh, light blue Bermuda short so he's definitely ready for pretty much anything for spring and summer so William why don't we go over to the seersucker table I know seersucker is again on trend for this summer but we don't really want uh, for people who don't want to do the full-fledged seersucker over-the-top look uh, Brooks Brothers has some great ideas uh, for Sear Sucker and, and different accessories. Yeah, lots of different ways to do it. So William, here we are at our seersucker table. So to remind our readers about seersucker, uh, it's a Persian name, Persian fabric. Uh, seersucker originally meant milk and honey. Uh, and it's- Milk and sugar. Milk and sugar. 
<laughs> That's why William's here. And we, and it, the reason it's, uh, what makes it special is it rises, it puckers, so it kind of rises off your skin. But I know a lot of guys are a little intimidated by wearing the whole seersucker suit all the time. So we want to pick out some cool things that um, are seersucker, but it's not the entire gamut. Uh, it's not your full full outfit. So William, you want to talk about a couple of these pieces? Sure, yeah. I think for the for the gentleman that's maybe not wanting to go full-blown seersucker, a really great way to do it is with the, the sort of solid navy or the solid white, where you still get that fabric and that coolness, but it's not quite so obvious. Uh, that being said, we still find very popular just the traditional seersucker trouser here, um, kind of what you would what you think of when you say seersucker, and then we also show it in a great little bomber jacket here um, in the light blue, really cool for summer and spring. And then of course we've got, as we talked about earlier, sort of the gingham version of seersucker here in the, in the lavender. And, and for the wild card, we've got the madras seersucker patchwork short. So uh, this would look actually really great with just a simple polo. Um, and uh, and really set you apart. Yeah, but and then of course the seersucker bathrobe too, which uh, for the man who's really obsessed with seersucker. Yeah, yeah. We've got this seersucker bathrobe. Um, I think this is pretty awesome. It's very F. Scott Fitzgerald. I can see Jay Gatsby wearing one of these, um, and uh, you know I can absolutely see one of these on a yacht in Newport for spring summer. Because isn't that always a trend? If you want to know more about spring summer trends, go to themanual.com. We'll see you soon.